What is the inverse of f of x is equal to x over x plus 2, where x is not equal to negative 2? So to find the inverse, there is an algorithm, and the algorithm is this, right? So I have, instead of using f of x, I'm just going to say y, right? Because f of x generates all the y coordinates, right? So y is equal to x over x plus 2. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, replace all the x's and y's together with y's, with y's and x. And why is that? Well, that's because the inverse, um, the, in, the graph of the inverse, is the reflection of the original function over the line y equals x. And what that does with all the coordinates is it actually uh, switches all the x and y coordinates, which is why we do this. So we're going to switch the x's and y variables. So I have x is equal to y over y plus 2. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and isolate y. So I want to multiply both sides by y plus 2. I get x times y plus 2 is equal to y. Let's distribute the x. So I get xy plus 2x is equal to y. Let's subtract over the xy. And notice now there's a common factor of y on the right-hand side. So I get 2x is equal to y times 1 minus x. Let's divide both sides by 1 minus x. So I have y is equal to 2x over 1 minus x. And there you go. That is the inverse. So which option is that? Uh, oh, and by the way, I forgot the last, very last step. The y now is different from the original y. We call that the f inverse function now is equal to 2x over 1 minus x. So which option is that? That is option, uh, it doesn't look like it's any of them, right? Well, don't, don't be afraid because the 1 minus x here is the same thing, is the same thing as x minus 1, right? But with the negative factored out. So this is actually the same thing. So I don't know why they would put that in there. But this is an alternative way of writing it. If we, if we switch the order of the subtraction, then we have to, then essentially we're pulling out a negative. So that would be option two then.